Yes, I'm as shocked as you about Boku no Hero Chapter 8 being already translated. Is this a sign that the translators are going to try to catch up to where the current chapter is? Because if that is, oh my god, I hope this is a good sign. Because we, we got two chapters in a week. That, that's really good. That, that means the translators are putting double the pace to try to catch up. So, great. R this is really good news. This is really, really good news. So... This chapter of Boku no Hero Chapter 8, dude, that ending. Oh my god. It's getting better and better by the chapter. I I'm not joking. This series gets better by the chapter. Like, this chapter, my favorite chapter so far. Thus far, this is my favorite chapter of Boku no Hero. That ending, that development, oh my god. Our main male character, Izuku. He takes no shit from anyone anymore. He doesn't give a shit anymore. You have it where Baku goes charging him, about to give him like a right swing and all that. You have Izuku grab him and slam him onto the fucking ground. Dude. Dude. Oh my god, man. This kid, like on chapter one, I remember chapter one and even chapter two, he was just a weakling. He couldn't fight or defend himself. He was getting picked on and bullied by Bakugo. And then now, he just freaking kicked his fucking ass and he just slams him on the fucking floor and he's like I'm the Deku the vibe that never gives up or I think I said his line correct but he says he never gives up and the line he says is exactly what Ochako told to him last chapter and I'm like dude 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 that confirms it that 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 confirms it like I said Ochako Izuku make it happen it's gonna happen because that that, that right there what Deku I, I, <laughs> Deku, I, I can't believe he even called himself that in this fucking chapter, but what Izuku said just confirms there's going to be some form of romance. I'm shipping it. I'm, I'm, I'm shipping it like FedEx. I, I ship it so hard right now. I do. Anyways, what I liked was the artistic elements of this chapter. When you see Bakugo burn, like explode, you know, Izuku's mask off, oh my god, dude, that looked badass. Like, he, he kind of looked corny with his outfit. I want to be honest. His suit looks really weird and corny. But when he saw the mask like halfway off and all that, you see one of it, you know, still there, and you see his face. That was badass. I, I want to say right now that looked really badass. Oh god, that that was cool. I love the way he fought back to Bakugo. What I even like better, once again, proves the element that Izuku is not a dumb character. As I said in my last review. Izuku is a lot different from the average shonen character. He's very different because usually with shonen main male characters or even shonen main female characters, they're not all that bright. I mean, they're bright, but not that bright. I mean, they don't come up with the best strategies or usually they just go in guns blazing or fists blazing and beat the shit out of their opponent. But with Izuku, he's showing strategy. Like, you know, he wrote down a detailed report on everybody. All the heroes he admired, even Bakugo, that burnt his notes in the past, in the first two chapters. And Yadra Izuku remembers this, he remembers these notes, and he comes back and says to Bakugo, like, yeah, my notes you burnt, it had data on you too. I'm like, dude, dude, oh, that, that just, oh, I, I love intelligent main characters, oh my god, it, it just, he's showing signs of intelligence, that's for me, that's fucking... For me, oh my god, just seeing a character be able to actually stand on his own and actually beat someone that's technically stronger than him and use his own weight against him and his own strength against him, that, that's badass. Because Izuku didn't really even use his powers, he didn't. He, he really didn't, he just used his knowledge that he knows against Bakugo, intelligence. With this chapter, what it does is it sets up the like two versus two teams like you have to wear villains and heroes it's like a play fight of cops and robbers pretty much or one-sided capture the flag whatever title you want to throw onto this match that's pretty much what's going on in this chapter and for the most part you have it to wear bakugo and ida i think that's the dude's name that looks like incursio from you know a kami got kill pretty much ida and bakugo are on the villain side guarding like a makeshift nuke and you have it to where the heroes are coming in ochako and izuku are trying to stop them with the bomb they gotta reach it capture it stop it and then they win so pretty much like one side to capture the flag and for the most part that's the main gist and setup of whatever this is trials of combat that all might wanted them to do and i like the setup i like the different teams and all that it was kind of obvious that bakugo and izuku would kind of face it's obvious but this brings up an interesting question. 
I saw achievement mentioned it last week, and then I saw a couple achievements before that, and then I have been thinking about it, but I haven't really decided to mention it, but it's kind of obvious now that I think about it. Bakugo is a straight up fucking villain. He, his entire demeanor, his personality, the way he bullies people, his powers, it just, he acts like a villain. He acts like a straight out villain. And it has me worried that he is going to become probably one of the main antagonists, like, later on down the road. Maybe if this series lasts for hundreds of chapters, okay? I'll just theory craft real quick. Let's say this series lasts hundreds of chapters. I see Bakugo becoming evil. I, I definitely see him becoming evil at one certain point, or becoming a villain in a certain arc, like in a certain arc or something. Because the way he treats Izuku, the way he treats everybody else, the way he goes after him and all that, and the way he said he was going to hurt him to the point where they wouldn't call it the match, but he was going to hurt him really bad, that just, that, that reeks a villain. That, 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 I smell the villain coming off him. I want to be honest, I smell that villain. One thing I really liked about this chapter was how Izuku got his costume. You know, finding out that his mother actually admitted that she was ashamed of herself because she gave up hope in her son that he would ever get a power or be able to go to a prestigious school... And she admits this to her son in this chapter, and she made this outfit, this costume for him, that was made from her love and, like, her compassion for him. And that, overall, I love that part of this chapter. Just getting to see how much the mother probably supports her son now, and how she's just going to be waving her arms and cheering him on. It's really heart-touching. I, I really like that. That's actually something I want to bring up. I don't know if it's just me or not, but for some reason... Since the first chapter, if you go back to the first chapter and the second chapter, the mother of Isaku looks very skinny. But in this chapter, in the chapter before, and a couple chapters back, she already she looks like she's gained some weight. Now I don't know if I'm the only one that realized this, but why has she gained so much weight? Is it because of her powers, or is it because she was in so much depression for what she did to her son that she let herself go? I, I really don't know. I really don't know why. She seemed to gain weight, but I just wanted to mention that if no one else noticed that. Anyways, moving past that point, the costume has a lot of meaning to Izuku, and for it to get burnt, it kind of upset me a little bit how it got destroyed so fast, so early, and I wonder exactly what he's going to do for a new costume, because, I mean, the face is fucking ripped off, so I wonder what he's going to do for a new costume. Hopefully, you might get a costume that kind of looks like All Might. I mean, the overall ear things on his head looked like All Might, but it fully, it did not look like All Might at all. You'd think you'd have, like, a like a costume that would look like his teachers. Oh yeah, so one more thing I actually really like is All Might. All Might, once again, shows a very good personality trait that I am really enjoying about him. He states in this chapter that he will show no favoritism towards Izuku. Just because he trained him and gave him his power, he's going to be grading him like an average student of his class. And to see... How he states that, it just once again shows me why I like All Might. I love his character, his personality, and how he is technically harsh. Even though he loves Izuku, he thinks of him as a good person, a great disciple, he is not going to give him favoritism to let him pass his classes like ease. So this is a really good personality trait that All Might has. So I guess it's going to conclude my review of Boku no Hero Chapter 8 this week. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.